everyone, welcome to this video. See you again. In the last episode, we have learned how to solder the banana plug female head, the power line, and how to solder the electronic speed controller, and how to assemble the frame. Now, in this episode, we will learn how to solder the banana plug male head, and how to assemble the motor. You can see that these are the components and the parts we are going to use. Now let's get started. This is the Emax MT2204 2300 kW motor with an integrated design of the motor shafts and the motor. It has low temperature when rotating under a load. It is capable of effectively driving the 15 floating fire propellers and easy to disassemble. Use the middle part of the teaser to move the banana plug male bullet. and solder the soldering team into the banana plug male bullet. Then solder one of the three phase power lines of the motor into the banana plug male bullet. Pay attention not to touch the banana plug male bullet until it cools down. So the other power lines in the same way. After salary measure the length of the banana plug male bullet with the hitching tubing. Cut the hitching tubing into pieces, each one with the length of banana plug male bullet. Cover the banana plug male bullet with the hitching tubing. Get the electronic soldering arm close to the hitching tubing. Rotate the hitching tubing for several times until it is shrunken. Do with other hitching tubings in the same way. Next, we are going to install the motors on the frame. Turn over the frame, install a motor with black bullet onto the number one arm. Fasten them with the M3 screws. 
Pay attention not to use too much force to avoid any damage. Install a motor with white bullets onto the number 2 arm. Install another motor with black bullet onto the number 3 arm. Then install another motor with white bullets onto the number 4 arm. This is the WC 3D flight control board. It is called components of the QRV250. It has a 32-bit processor and a 3-axis gyroscope and a child axial accelerometer. It runs the open pilot formula with advanced algorithm and this flight controller allows stable flight and provides a real-time monitoring of the QRV250. It is completely compatible with the QV250. Place the frame flat. Place the double sided foam tape on the center of the upper board. Fix the flight controller on the foam tape. Please be careful that the triangle arrow on the flight controller should point to the head of the aircraft. Now we have finished the soldering and installing in this episode. See you in the next episode.